I just want to guide you as my children. I just believe this will help you to hear from God. Uh, if you want to succeed spiritually, don't use any group from today. You hear me? For example, I want you to understand this thing. Don't use any group. If you want to go and pray, go and pray alone. If you want to go and pray, seek God alone now. We know this issue of compound anointing, where you are in the church, you worship God. But do it like Jesus. I'm sure you understand that. Though he was in a group, he would say, live here, let me go and pray. I'm sure you understand that. So if you want to succeed, you people here, I mean, there are certain things that, because already I found that why you people failed, why you failed, is because if this one is raised, and with your friend take this one, all of you, you are like that. And you don't know the spirit you are, you are taking. So for you to succeed now, if you want to see this, it will happen, it will help you. Cut these things of a group. You see that, see that. Cut these things of a group. Come to church alone. You can have a brother and sister in the church, but don't believe in these things of a group. I think many of our young people like Wumpo, you, uh, uh, come. Uh, come. Can, can you come, this brother? If I can choose all of them, if I... I mean, where are your friends? Where are your friends? Where is your younger brother? Come. All, all of you of this group, if you want to, to succeed, where is the tall guy? Call him. If you want to succeed, come. I mean, if you people want to succeed, now, and break this spirit. Allow me to tell you that uh, if God, you want God to, to take you to where you believe he wants to take you, break this spirit of, you know, this spirit, I don't know, this spirit has brought a shame in Charis, whereby you people here, you, you, all of you, you want to be used by God. But do you think uh, truly if God wants to use people, he can do it that way? If you people want to succeed, you understand? You, you have your corner, you face there, face there. Have your corner, face there. You have your corner, you face here. You have your corner, you face there. There will be things that this one will get which you don't know. If truly you, you want God to use you, and always you people here, you are like this, you are like this, you are like this, you know what will happen? God will leave you. Because if he called this one, he has called all of you. I'm sure I'm speaking sense to you. If he called this one, look here, this one, if he says he's called, even you, you will say you are called. Even that one will say he's called. Even this one will say you are called. And then now, what God will do will say, ah, if I call this person, there will be wrong people who think they are called. So how can I take him? Let me leave him. But now, if this one face there, you have got his own corner, face there. And this one is having his corner. This one is going, you will end up knowing what you are called for. If not, this one will be called as a prophet. You are a prophet. That one is a prophet. You are all prophets. The day this one sinned, you have sinned, you have sinned, you have sinned. All of you, you are sharing the same thing. You are, because already you are, you are in one place. If you want God to use you, be independent. When you come to church, you are coming for yourself alone. Don't read the Bible to share with another. Unless the person wants that sharing. You can share with the person. But you are coming here, you say, I'm here for my soul. I'm here for my soul. And at the end of the day, you'll be surprised. There are more things you know. 
You know, uh, I'm just giving example by this. I know there are many here. I can choose all of you. So, please, I'm advising you. Because remember I'm your father. You are, you are still young. And we want you to grow to reach your destiny. And we will love to see one day God choosing you. But don't choose yourself. So what you do is, when this one is facing there, this one is facing there, okay, my brother, God bless you, I'm here. You worship, you focus. I'm telling you. There's, God will decide. Because, look here, let's take, I choose this one. Let's say, I choose this one. I say, uh, I want to release this one. Come, face there. Come, stand together there. Face, face me. Let's say, I, I want to release this one. Do you think you will understand? Uh, Speak the truth. <laughs> uh, it's not easy, but... It's not easy. Yes. What about you? No, it will never be easy. Yes, it's not this. Because you people, you know each other too much. Even if, come, come. If I say, I want to release this one, let me ask the, is it going to be free to you? It is going to be difficult. What if I release this one, I'm saying rebel. How many of you are talking, are hearing what I'm trying to say? If I release this one, I'm saying what? Rebel, why are you not releasing me too? Because you know the weakness of this one. Eh? And you know you are better how far with this one. Is it not true? It's true, Daddy. Eh? Very true. It's true, it's true. So that is why you find God sometimes will live with your power. That's why God is not choosing people now. That's why people can't see in the spirit now. That's why all of you now, if we ask you, if we ask one person, you know you're called as a prophet? Yes. What about you? Yes, dead. Yes, dead. I think so. <laughs> so now, do you think, okay, sit down. I want to tell you something. Can I tell you something? Yes. Eh? Eh? So I'm just telling you this so that you understand. To be honest with you, allow me to tell you this. I'm telling you, God does not want many prophets. I'm telling you now. God doesn't want many prophets. You can go to the Bible. Go to the Bible. You try to find that God will just say, Somewhere, somewhere, he chose, boom, he chose a prophet. You'll find that they are evangelists, they are pastors, they are what, 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 but among them, he will just say, this one is a prophet. So that you people here, you must not get the word of God easy. The word of God will never be cheap. If there's a prophet there, prophet there, prophet there, I'm going to say prophet, I'm going to say prophet, you will lie. So God will make sure that he chooses a prophet there. He chooses a prophet there. And he chooses a prophet there. Maybe when there's 1,000 pastors, there can be five prophets. So now, what is happening now? Because we are in the last days. If I say pastors, three people will come here. If I say prophets, 1,000 will study. So now, if you allow God to choose you, you become independent. Either you become a false prophet or a true prophet. You find it your own way to be a prophet. So what I'm praying today is, I'm just looking at these boys. When I look at them, my, my heart is paining me. That you will sit here waiting to see a vision. And what will happen? The day you see a vision now, you have got followers in the same church where you are always sending a message, go show me about this. Three, go me show me. The day you just dream, always, you, I'm sure you understand that. 
God doesn't want something like that. A, a prophet must be an intercessor. He must be a person who stay with God for a long time. A person that can't sleep, who will pray until God reveals something. And then also if you see something, you pray. If we don't do that work of trying to discipline you, this thing is still going to happen. It's going to happen. We will find you everywhere. You want to prophesy people, you want to get money, you want to be rich. And it will never happen. Am I communicating with someone? Amen. So I just want, um, my prayer is, I want to take the disciplined ones. Can you just deal with yourself? Think about when you have got a church and inside the church, all of them are your girlfriends. What kind of church is that? Now if I release you here, tomorrow people say, can you see the pastor? Look, he released that one. He doesn't love me. Already you people are talking too much. Okay, pastor love whom whom. He doesn't love whom whom. He love whom whom. You don't know me. I've been here for many years before you come. You were still schooling. What you need to do is just to sit down like this. You wait for me. I saw this thing last time when I released some people. It was a battle to other. Please, have this spirit. You have never seen me with another pastor taking a photo like this. Like this. Many pastors want to do that. I've got one pastor who did that. Later, he tried to be my friend. But I know the person who wants to be close to you, he can end up being used against you. So now, if now you people want to succeed, hey, have independence, focusing, seeking God like, you know, you are alone. Have your own revelation. Friendship won't work. My friend here, my friend here, my friend here, my friend here, friend here. It won't work. It will bring pride, it will bring attacks and shame. So, I believe you are watching, if you are watching, whether you are called for what, submission can help you. You know, surrendering can help you. You can tell yourself, let me stay here until God does something. Let us all stand. How many of you have learned something? Can, I, can you run for one? Let me hear what you have learned, three people. Well, what have you learned? I've learned that salvation is personal. Because if you have to come and serve God, you do it for your own will and for your own sake. Because when judgment time comes, they won't judge you with your friends that you pray with. You will have to face God alone. Clap hands for you. Thank you. Let me hear you. Uh, Daddy, I've learned that uh, praying alone is very important because um, I used to pray with people who have a lot of problems. And after praying with them, I realized that the same pr problems that they are facing, they are the ones that I'm also facing. Can you hear that? That's what I'm is for here. 